we talk about Fortunis a lot. It's it's is the topic that in in the Olympiacos fan space in the Olympiacos kingdom, the topic never goes away. He we all know his his contract is expiring at the end of the year. What do you like? What do you do with him? Like, have you changed your mind, or does your mind change from week to week about Fortunis's significance, like in this squad? It's a very good question because at, at some point I wanted him to leave because I kind of feel that the, the circle is closed with Fortunis. But at the same time, over a season, when you have to play like, for example, 50 games, probably which it will be the amount of game we will play this season, you just can't say to Fortunis like to go away. To decide not to renew this guy is for me not possible because... Yes, sometimes he won't track back. I will be pissed because uh, he said PC sometimes aren't good enough for me. Uh, even he will miss key games, passes. I don't, I don't know. But over a season when you have to play fifty game, it's sometimes it's someone that basically always was able to do double double, like more than ten goal, more than ten assist every time he was fit enough to play during the whole season, and. Also, we tried many times to replace him. Like, how many offensive players this club brought in the last years? The only one that was personally, in my opinion, above Fortunis was, was Valbuena. But a part of that, you had Salbaken, Scarpa, both wingers on number 10 that aren't even the half of Fortunis right foot, probably. So th there is no debate for me. There is more of philosophical debate, if you want, uh, about how Fortunis is important for the club, what can he do, how the team can play with both Fortunis and Spadense. But there is no much issue issue for me because I would say that the one that has to go would be probably Masuras. Because if, if we have to keep the Greek core, uh, I'm, I'm sure it won't be possible to keep uh, Masuras and Fortunis and Solakis, but is if one out of the three has to leave, probably I would say Masuras because he has done everything than Piakos. He probably uh, needs to to have another experience abroad. And but Fortunis, it's not possible to let him go right now for me. Labro, do you want to come in on this discussion we're having on Fortunis? It's like one of those things that we we, yeah. we might maybe we've beaten it to death, but like. Every every week there's another there's another reason to talk about him. Seventeen assists in one season. That's like how many players do you know around around the world that are close to twenty assists? And he's got has he got more than ten goals already? Like it's ridiculous. He has ten goals right now. You have to renew him as many times as I've been frustrated with him defensively and just his level of effort, his leadership on the field at times, I think you need to renew him. I, I agree with Martial about Masuras. I think when you see him play, it feels like the cycle is complete, completely. It seems like Fortuny still has, he statistically still has a lot to give to Olympiacos. And as Martial said, he's very valuable in these games against Greek competition, against La Mia, against Aris. It's 31. Not that old. Yeah. He's not that old. He can give contributions to the team. He knows the Greek Super League very well. He now has played in Europe. He can lead the team. Going into the summer, we're probably going to have to play four rounds of qualifiers. I think he'd be very valuable in these sorts of games. So, yeah, no, I agree. Um, I think you need to renew him at this point. I just... I hope it's not for a massive contract, like three or four years. I think a two-year contract makes sense, two plus one maybe. But we'll see. He, Fortuny says all the cards in this relationship, which is difficult, I think, for the club. And he has this kind of dominance over the fans and over the space where he can ask for what he wants. And he has the backing of the supporters and... You know, it's a difficult position, I think, for management because they kind of have to give Fortunis what he wants, even though his past discretions and behavior have been detrimental to the club. The fans seem to look past that and, you know, they don't really give a shit. So 
they're kind of boxed in. They have to give him the contract he wants at this point, I think. So that's my point of view. Yeah, but at the same time, I go back to what Marshall said earlier, is that if you look at the players that we've tried to bring in over the years to replace him, like they've, except for Valbuena, they've all pretty much failed. Uh, yeah. And you can't guarantee, like the, the big discussion is like, like you said, how much and for how long uh, realistically like the player i'm sure he wants to he doesn't want to leave greece he would never i don't think he would ever play for another big greek club um so you know i think push comes to shove they're going to find an agreement at the end of the season um we have to just consider the wage budget going into the new season and, and generally finances are probably going to be a bit tighter we're not going to be playing europa league it's not the same money in conference uh sure we can hopefully go go further but okay one one step at a time um that's probably all we need to say about fortunis today and maybe just one other key statistic uh, the guy had three key passes uh in the first half already one was the assist to uh to El Kabi, another one for a uh, nicely placed pass to Heze who had a shot blocked inside the penalty box and then the corner kick where um, Carmo had a free header 